Hi everyone, it's Paul here. Uh, it is the 9th of March, which can mean only one thing, the Cheltenham Festival is just four days away. Uh, I've had a lot of people messaging saying I'm doing my videos again this year. The answer is yes, I am. Uh, obviously the new 48 hour decks makes it a lot easier because you're not gonna get horses um, well, you will get some who will get scratched at the last minute, but generally we're going to know where the fields are going to stand a lot, lot sooner. Uh, and less Willie Mullins bingo being played um, up to the last minute, which makes things a little bit easier. This is just a quick video to let you guys know that I am doing it, but also I've had my usual direct messages. If you were going to do like a Yankee or a Lucky 15 or something today uh, at the festival, who would you do? So what I'm here to do is to give you a Yankee. Now, before I get the usual things of... Oh, well, why hasn't he put in Apple's Jade or Altior or Sam Crow? Because they're odds on. Um, I've tried to do it. Well, I have done it where every horse that I'm putting in this one, this is a non-odds on Yankee, just to go as a bit of a disclaimer on that. Uh, first horse in it is in the Supreme, the opening get a bird for uh, Willie Mullins. Uh, I really fancy this one, unbeaten over hurdles. Ruby Walsh has just done a comment recently about how he ran right the way through the line, which is a very good point. Uh, beat a good yardstick in Mengley Khan. Uh, and I think, he, he, well, if you look at Willie Mullins' record in the race, there were the likes of Vator, Champagne Fever, uh, Duvan, Min, uh, even Mellon. I knew he wouldn't win that one last year, but he still ran a decent race. I think uh, Getterbird is the way to go in this one. Um, pick number two is, looking at my list, it's presenting Percy in the RSA. Um, been running really well over hurdles and fences this season. Uh, got uh, beat by our Duke last time out. And because our Duke won that, they made a big deal of beating presenting Percy and that he should be up there for, to be favourite for the Gold Cup, which I can't necessarily argue with. But if he's going to be up there for the Gold Cup, then that would make presenting Percy a previous festival winner. So he goes on the course, you know, that over hurdles last year. Um, he makes him a cracking bet at three to one, I think, for the RSA. Uh, horse number three, cause of causes in the cross country. The cross country is looking really, really weak this year compared to other years. A lot of the older horses have made way now and some are still there, but again, they're that little bit older. Cause of causes, though, is a proven stay. What hacked up in this race last year. Uh, he's the class act of the field, uh, still seems to be retaining his form. This is his time of year and you think cause of causes. Uh, it's going to take a good one to beat him, put it that way. Uh, the last one is in the Cheltenham Gold Cup, and that is Native River. Um, currently available at 5-1. to one. Uh, I think he's an each way bet to nothing. I don't think this Gold Cup necessarily is as good as last year's. And last year's wasn't great. It's just, I'm not, I've just not got a good feeling for that staying division at the moment. Um, but Native River last year ran an absolute belter to get placed. But bear in mind, on his way to Cheltenham last year, he had taken in the Ladbrook Trophy, I think it's called now, which was formerly the Hennessy, uh, which he won. He then went and won the Welsh National off top weight, another race and then there. So he was highly tried going into it. So he possibly would have taken the edge off him just slightly and he was not beaten far. And I think Size and John is absolutely top class. He probably would have been my pick for the race this year. But for those who haven't know, he was reported injured yesterday. So he will not be going to the festival, sad to hear. Um, but Native River, as I said, he's proven like it for the course and... Uh, that uh, should put him bang on. So we're looking at Get a Bird, we're looking at Presenting Percy, Cause of Causes, and Native River. Now, if you were to do a, let's just keep it to £1, take a £1 each way Yankee on that, it is uh, £22, and that is paying, that is paying £443, so you're making 420 quid if those four go and win. If a couple win in a couple place, happy days, three win in a place, happy days. Um, but I think uh, that is the best non-odds on Yankee that you can do at the moment, really. Um, yeah, keep tuned. Hopefully Sunday I should have Tuesday's video up and then Monday for Wednesday, etc. Uh, and see you soon. Good luck. Take care.